Welcome to Movies in a Nutshell. This is Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace, a 1999 American fantasy science fiction film written and directed by George Lucas. The Trade Federation creates turmoil in the Galactic Republic by blockading the planet Naboo in protest of recent legislation taxing major galactic trade routes. The Republic's leader, Supreme Chancellor Finnis Valorum, dispatches Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn and his apprentice, Obi-Wan Kenobi, to negotiate with Trade Federation Viceroy Newt Gunray. Darth Sidious, a Sith Lord and Trade Federation secret benefactor, orders the Viceroy to kill the Jedi and begin an invasion with an army of battle droids. But the Jedi escape and flee to Naboo. During the invasion, Qui-Gon rescues a Gungan outcast, Jar Jar Binks. Indebted to Qui-Gon, Jar Jar leads the Jedi to Oto Gunga, the Gungan's underwater city. The Jedi fail to persuade the Gungan leader, Boss Nass, to help the planet's surface dwellers, but manage to obtain Jar Jar's guidance and underwater transport to feed the capital city of Naboo. After rescuing Queen Amidala, the group make their escape from Naboo aboard her royal starship, intending to reach the Republic capital planet of Coruscant. Passing through the Federation blockade, the ship is damaged in the crossfire, and its hyperdrive malfunctions. The ship lands for repairs on the outlying desert planet of Tatooine, situated beyond the Republic's jurisdiction. Qui-Gon, Jar Jar, Astromech Droid R2-D2, and Queen Padme Amidala, in disguise as one of her own handmaidens, visit the settlement of Moss Espa to purchase a new part for their hyperdrive. They encounter a junk dealer, Watto, his nine-year-old slave, Anakin Skywalker, a gifted pilot and engineer who has built a protocol droid, C-3PO. Qui-Gon senses a strong presence of the Force within Anakin and is convinced that he is the prophesied Chosen One, destined to restore balance to the Force. With Watto refusing to accept payment in Republic currency, Qui-Gon wagers both the required hyperdrive part and Anakin's freedom in the pod race. Anakin wins the race and joins the group to be trained as a Jedi, reluctantly leaving behind his mother, Shi. En route to their starship, Qui-Gon encounters Darth Maul, Sidious's apprentice, who was sent to capture Amidala. After a brief lightsaber duel, Qui-Gon escapes aboard the starship with the others. Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan escort Amidala to Coruscant so that she complete her people's case to Chancellor Valorum and the Galactic Center. Qui-Gon informs the Jedi Council that his attacker was a Sith and subsequently asks for permission to train Anakin as a Jedi, but the Council refuses his request, concerned that Anakin is vulnerable to the dark side of the Force. Undaunted, Qui-Gon vows to take up Anakin as his new apprentice. Meanwhile, Naboo Senator Palpatine persuades Amidala to call for a vote of no confidence in Valorum to elect a more capable leader to resolve the crisis. Though she is successful in pushing for the vote, Amidala grows frustrated with the corruption in the Senate and decides to return to Naboo. Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan are ordered by the Jedi Council to accompany the Queen and investigate the return of the Sith. On Naboo, Padme reveals herself as the actual Queen before the Gungans to gain their trust, and persuades them to help against the Trade Federation. Jar Jar is promoted to general and joins his tribe in a battle against the droid army, while Padme leads to search for the gunray in Theed. Qui-Gon tells Anakin to hide inside a starfighter in the palace hangar, but he accidentally triggers its autopilot and flies into space, joining the Naboo pilots in their battle against the Federation droid control ship. With R2's help, Anakin pilots the fighter into the ship and causes its destruction from within, deactivating the droid army. Meanwhile, Maul, who, was, who has been dispatched by Sidious to assist Gunray, engages in a lightsaber duel with Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan. Maul mortally wounds Qui-Gon, but is then sliced in half by Obi-Wan and falls down a shaft. Qui-Gon asks Obi-Wan to train Anakin before dying in his arms. Following the battle, Gunray is arrested by the Republic and Palpatine is elected Chancellor. Master Yoda promotes Obi-Wan to the rank of a Jedi Knight and reluctantly accepts Anakin as Obi-Wan's apprentice. A funeral is held for Qui-Gon attended by the other Jedi, 
who contemplate that there is still one Sith remaining since there are always two of them. During a celebratory parade on Naboo, Padme presents a gift of thanks to the Gungans to establish peace. Thank you so much for watching Movies in a Nutshell. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you can be up to date on our latest uploads.